talking about all these different paints and uh, the different things that you can do with it. And then it comes to open, and open is a completely different animal. This is the slow drying acrylic paint. How slow drying? Very slow drying. You know, it's, it's one question we all hate when we do this, because everybody says, well, how long does it take for it to dry? And it's, we, you can't answer it, because you don't know what the conditions are. You know, being that acrylic paint, or any kind of waterborne paint, works with the evaporation of water. It depends a lot on the relative humidity, on the temperature, all this kind of stuff. If you're painting in Arizona, your colors are going to dry, your paint's going to dry a lot faster than if you're working here. Okay? It's just the nature of the beast. So a lot of times people, you know, don't like acrylic because it dries too fast. A lot of people love acrylics because it dries too fast. The whole thing is there are tons of products out there that allow you to control the drying time and that should never be an issue, never. You should be able to control it, not the other way around. You're a lot bigger than even the largest tube of paint. So this is, um, but this is open. This is a completely different animal. It is acrylic paint, but I put this stuff out actually at this point now, it's been 25 hours ago. Now, if this was normal heavy body, it would be pretty useless. Right? After an hour, it starts becoming kind of really hard. After an hour and a half, you know, it's, it's pretty useless. After two hours, it depending really on how thick it is. It, it would be um, pretty dry. So this has been out for over 12, uh, 24 hours. I tell my students and such that you should put it out at least six hours before you use it. I think it has a nicer consistency. And um, so this has been out for 24 hours. And you can see how. And also, since it's such a small group, I'm gonna pass it around. But feel how it feels. You know, when it comes out of the container normally, it's a little too loose. And when it's sitting out, it's starting the drying process. So it becomes, it feels, this is probably the closest any acrylic paint is to oil. And you should still, you don't want to paint thick. You want to, they say you shouldn't go over like a sixteenth of an inch. You can do an underpainting of the heavy body as thick as you want and do the blending of this on top. Or you can add the heavy body to this and you get something of a hybrid, you know, something in between. But once again, you can see how intense the colors are. And um, I've been talking about that a lot how intense they are, how much pigment Golden puts in. But it's real important to also see something, and I'm going to do what's more of the that. Now, also with open, you can do all kinds of printing as well, mono prints or whatever. Why? Because, you know, it dries slow. So you can do anything from, I mean, I have a, uh, Do all kinds of uh, you can do silk screen with the with the open. I mean, it, it allows you to do so many things because it's so slow dry. Um, and if you want to work more traditionally, like an oil painter, you can do a lot of blending with that. So it's a fun thing to kind of play around with. Now uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about gels and paste. This is where you 